Back in some more local news now. It's been nearly five and a half years since Hollis Daniels shot and killed Texas Tech police officer Floyd East Jr. And since then, Officer East's widow Carmen has dedicated her time to helping families of other fallen officers. Daniels was convicted and is serving a life sentence for Officer East's death. KBK's Jaxie Pigeon spoke with Ms. East about how she and many others continue to honor his memory through their nonprofit, Texas 635. Jaxie. Well, Terry, just four months after Officer East's death, Carmen East created the organization which has now helped hundreds of officers, all in honor of her husband who was killed in the line of duty. Originally, she wanted to help these families financially, but soon learned of the need for mental health resources for these officers. Police officers see the worst of humanity, and it's a constant thing that they see. And a peace officer, that's what they are, is peace officers. They need to have a peaceful mindset. Carmen East started Texas 635 in memory of her late husband, Floyd East Jr., who was a Texas Tech police officer killed in the line of duty in 2017. Now she's making it her mission to keep his spirit alive by providing support for officers and their families. The main mission for the Texas 635 is to provide funds for fallen officer families. We send a $635 check to families um, who have lost a loved one in the line of duty. But we also found that we have a second mission, which is extremely important to us, and we call that program Blue Space. And that program is a mental wellness for police officers. The Blue Space Program is a three-day mental health retreat for officers nationwide. It's led by fellow officers who are certified in critical incident training to allow these officers a chance to unpack their on-the-job stressors with others who can relate. The profession itself has a lot of stigma, uh, especially in the area of mental health, which already carries its own uh, you know, unfounded stigma. Uh, but police officers, you know, they have this uh, belief that they always have to be strong and virile. And uh, I've always told them, you know, you wear a bulletproof vest. You are not bulletproof. There are certainly things that affect a police officer in their day-to-day -day lives. Sergeant Short is using his 30 years of crisis negotiation experience to lead others at these retreats. He says the main problem with mental and emotional trauma is that you never know when it's going to resurface. You may be fine that day. You may be fine the next week. Five years from now, all of a sudden, uh, you get boomeranged by things that you've seen. Um, I have 10,000 pictures in my head I wish I could forget. Uh, but it just doesn't happen that way. So it's a lifelong commitment to be aware, to be always uh, considering your own uh, state of mental health. Corporal Russell Scarborough with the Lubbock County Sheriff's Office made the decision to go on one of the men's retreats last year. He describes it as an unforgettable experience. It was so relieving to share in the comforts of that time and that space. That was private. It was just us. We were in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. And, uh, you know, it's like nobody could, could penetrate what we're, what we're talking about and disrupt us. We we're a force. And Deputy Miriam Huerta with the Lubbock County Sheriff's Office also experienced something horrible while on duty. She was fearful of having to relive the trauma by talking about it, but she would find comfort in the fact she was not alone in her thoughts. Mental health wellness for officers is very important because until we realize that we have so much that we have to process, we're just, gonna, we're just like this ticking time bomb waiting to just go off. But you come back as a different person with new ideas and trying to help others. And that's important for us to be able to help our fellow officers because if they're not good, we're not good. Sergeant Short says the journey of life should not be traveled alone. We care for each other so that we can continue to keep the community safe, which is what is in our heart to do. And Carmen tells me it took her three years to forgive Hollis Daniels for murdering her late husband in the line of duty. She says it was only through sharing her traumatic experiences with others that she was able to find a way to move forward. She now hopes to give peace officers nationwide that same opportunity with Texas 635.